Tell the truth, Andy. What was it that first attracted you to Jenny? Was it the pink hair, the braces, the jeans that were purposely shredded and torn? And Jenny, when you first spotted Andy across the high school cafeteria, what drew your eye? Was it the baggy jeans, the skateboard, the t-shirt emblazoned with larger than life skulls? When we look at high school photos of this beautiful couple, it's hard to believe it's really them. But it is, and somehow in spite of themselves, they got together. As Jenny's older sister, it has been a pleasure watching her grow. And I have to say, watching Andy grow as well. He's been a fixture at our house for the last six years, and thankfully, he long ago hung up his baggy jeans for more suitable attire. Some relationships that start in high school fizzle by the time graduation comes around. And Andy and Jenny, however, were determined to make it work. They both went away to separate colleges, but each came home every weekend that they could. They visited each other and took their spring breaks together. They only broke up once, and it only lasted for about three hours, just as long as Andy had time to drive to Jenny's campus and apologize for whatever he had done. As they both began to grow and change, they did it together. Rather than grow apart, as is often the case with such young love, they grew close together. There's something wonderfully sweet about high school sweethearts who get married, and I have no doubt that your love will carry you the distance. I recently saw a newspaper clipping about a couple who had been married for 50 years. They celebrated with a big party surrounded by their children and grandchildren and all who loved them. They had been high school sweethearts. That is what I wish for for Andy and Jenny. 50 plus years of love and happiness surrounded by all of those who love them.